This is Walter Barrett with the JTV News Update. The new restroom facilities being constructed at the Noel Lloyd Positive Action Movement Park are nearing completion and contractors say they will be done by this weekend. Despite occasional showers, it is believed that the project will be completed by Saturday, August 20th. The inclement weather is not a deterrent. The cost of the project is estimated at some $200,000 and is funded through a partnership between the Lions Club of Tortola and the government. The new facility is outfitted with such modern amenities as wheelchair accessibility, baby changing stations and a standby generator. Nagico Insurance and Rotan Wholesale have both contributed $10,000 each to the project. The Royal Virgin Islands Police Force is continuing its investigations into an incident that led one male to seek attention at Peebles Hospital for a single stab wound to the chest. On Saturday afternoon, Damien Scatliff of Bellevue arrived at the hospital with injuries sustained during a stabbing incident. He was immediately attended to by doctors at the hospital and the police were contacted. Scatliff was up to news time assisting police with their investigations into the matter, although it is unknown at this time if he had named his assailant. Police officially charged Jamaican national Thaxter Darwin over the weekend for his involvement in the seizure of two guns and 270 rounds of ammunition that were found on board Smith's Bomber Charger Ferry last Thursday. Customs officials acted on intelligence and made the find on board the vessel. A second male, a resident of the BVI, was being sought up to Saturday, August 13th, but later that same day, the individual turned himself into the authorities. No charges have been laid yet on the local. The Ministry of Natural Resources and Labour and the Conservation and Fisheries Department are inviting volunteers to take part in the 2011 International Coastal Cleanup set for Saturday, September 17th. Service organizations, schools, interested groups and volunteers are encouraged to be a part of this annual marine cleanup and beautification initiative and are urged to photograph sites before and after the cleanup. For more information or to register yourself or group, contact the Conservation and Fisheries Department via telephone at 494-5681 or 494-3429. Registration forms are available in English, Spanish and French. A weekend for two at Scrub Island, $2,500 in cash and a trip to New York City are still up for grabs as the Digicel Fugitive promotion enters its final week. The promotion was launched on July 18th and invites everyone to join in finding the fugitive who is placed at strategic locations around the territory every day between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Digicel customers and many others have anxiously listened to clues broadcast on Zerod 103.7 FM and even signed up to get early clues by texting CLUE to 25A3. So far, over 10 lucky sleuths finding the fugitives have received cash, BlackBerry smartphones or other handsets, free data services, free phone credit and dinner vouchers for all of their efforts. This is Walter Barrett with the JTV News Update.